Well, let's talk about your finances. This is the time of year where many are reflecting on the debt they may have accumulated over the year and how to get out of it. Our WSFL TV trusted advisor, Chad Van Horn, stopped by with ways to set you up for success financially in the new year. Always good to be here with you, man. Chad, what is the dark side of debt and how does it affect people? You know, it, it, it really is a sad thing. If, you, if you've ever seen the show Squid Games, you'll see the really dark side of debt. I see a smaller version of that at, at my firm. Unfortunately, you know, debt leads to really negative things like drug use, um, a divorce, uh, even suicide. So it, it really is a bad thing that, that, that people just have it sitting on their back for so long and leads to severely negative consequences. Well said, Chad. Money can permeate your life in so many ways. What are some of the extreme measures, Chad, people are taking to escape the clutches of debt? Well, the number one thing that I see that, that I believe is unhealthy as well and can be unhealthy is gambling and even lottery. So it, you know, everybody wants hope and, and that's what a casino can give you. That's what a lottery ticket can give you. But really what that's doing, I mean, we see the casinos growing like crazy. They don't lose money. So it's giving you false hope, generally speaking, that that lottery ticket or that casino is the way that you're gonna get out of debt. And normally you end up in more debt. And that's the number one thing that I'm seeing right now. Chad, the core of all this is stress. I mean, how does that impact personal relationships and our overall well-being? Man, it's been a stressful couple of years, man. I mean, just in general. And then when you add debt on top of it, and then interest rates are going up, and then everything's more expensive, it really becomes a hopeless feeling and uh, it, it negatively impacts every relationship you have. I've seen people lose their jobs because they, they go in and they're stressed out from the debt that they have and they're unable to perform uh, at their best, obviously losing personal relationships, family relationships. It's been it's been really a rough couple of years and uh, we're at an all time high in debt. So. When you see people stressed out and when you see people not being the nicest, it, it might not be because they're not a nice person. It just might be because they're going through something like this, this debt. So what are some healthier alternatives that we may be overlooking, Chad, when it comes to addressing debt? Absolutely. So there's all, always, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, the debt is only important because we make it important. And um, there are ways to deal with it, whether it's filing bankruptcy, or I always say worst case scenario, you know, move to an island where you know, they don't recognize American debt. You know, you go to Jamaica, no, no de debt collector is gonna follow you to Jamaica and uh, <laughs> and try to collect debt from you. So always think worst case scenario, where, where would we really end up? And uh, I'm a big fan of Jamaica, so that's probably where I would end up. Um, but if you don't wanna move, you can certainly come into my office, we can figure it out. We can clear out the debt really quickly, usually within three months and then allow you to rebuild, rebuild your credit and rebuild your life. As always, Chad, a wealth of information. Thank you. Always good to be here with you, man.